Welcome to the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast, hosted by Craig Phillips and Jeff Torrey. Visit us at FantasyFootballProfit.com. And now your hosts, Craig and Jeff. Welcome everyone to the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast. I'm Craig Phillips, joined as always by Jeff Torrey. And today we're going to talk a little 2022 fantasy football for you people that are all out of it on the playoffs. You didn't make the playoffs. You got You still want to listen. Here we go. We got something for you. Talking about next year. This, last week we ranked running backs for 2022. Today we're going to w- rank our top 10 wide receivers for 2022. All right. This is kind of all we'll do like half point PPR, we'll say, right? No, it's just an in-between. We're not, <laughs> not going to differentiate here. Jeff, do you have any clue where you want to go with number one? <laughs> to be quite honest, no, I don't. I, th- I think a lot could happen. And in my mind, this is such a cop-out, but I do feel like Devonta Adams would probably be my number one relatively safe. So that is assuming Aaron yes. Rodgers is in good <laughs> Funny thing is I'm updating <laughs> the website as we do this. I was literally putting in parentheses if Aaron Rodgers returns. <laughs> yeah. So that's that, that, that was what my that's the one big caveat because all you know, all guesses are completely off if if he leaves. If there's another quarterback in town, Devontae Adams. I don't even know if Devontae uh, Adams will be back. I don't know what the deal is there yeah, either. I mean, another another good question. So assuming he's yes. back with with Aaron Rodgers, yeah, I think I would put him number one. He's had a good year, maybe not great. But he's had a very solid year. I wouldn't have been upset if I took him as the number one wide receiver. And, yep. and I think that is a big point. Like, you don't want to be, I don't know, I can't have that huge risk yeah. uh, reward when I'm talking about, like, the, the top five guys. I really need to know that they're going to produce top ten numbers, I would really hope. Yep, I'm, I'm with you, Devontae Adams. He's my top pick. I just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slot him in number one. If, if Rodgers doesn't return, obviously all that changes. But let's just go into the assumption right now. He's back. Everything's the same. Devontae Adams then becomes number one. So, all right, cool. We got number one. This is what this is actually where it gets even more interesting because there could be a million options. Number two, anyway, any, where are you leaning? I, I think I'm leaning a certain way here, actually. I, I, I'm very surprised at, at what I'm going to say, but I think I would go Justin Jefferson. Boom. So am I. Oh, there we go. Yep. Well, he's there played, we, I mean, he hasn't yeah. really played great. And I just, know, I feel it's safe. I feel it's safe. And he's, he's really, really good, but I don't feel like you're going to be disappointed in Justin Jefferson at all. Yeah, I, I, I feel the same way. He has put up really, really big games, and uh, the yardage has been very impressive. Maybe it hasn't yep. always been touchdown, but um, I think that will come around. Thielen is still a great option, um, but once again, he's, he's definitely out, like, over, like, out overshadowed. Yeah. Thielen this year, even more so than last year, even though Thielen is like ranked the, I think he's in the top 15 anyway. Um, but I think that touchdowns, everything will start going uh, Jefferson's way. I think it only helps him that Thielen is still, you know, in the mix. Yep. Yeah. Justin Jefferson. It was, that's yeah. Uh, same page there for sure. I think he's going to be great. I love Jeff and Je- Justin Jefferson. Number two here. All right. Number three, what are we thinking? Number three. <laughs> um. This is where it gets more difficult for me. I, I do think that there's a, I a have, few guys that we could go with right here. I have, I say there's probably three you could go with, but there's two in my mind that I would actually feel comfortable with. Okay. I, yeah, my two, should I go two that I'm picking between? Yeah. Okay. Your- if, if I have to choose between two of them right now, I'd probably go between Tyreek Hill for me, or I would actually go Jamar Chase. Okay. So th- those were in two of my three. Okay. So I, I have Cooper the Cup there as well. I have Cooper Cup there as well. Okay, I gotcha. And I'd go Cooper Cup. For me personally, I think I'd rather have Cooper Cup than Tyreek. I he he look, he's been tremendous. He's the number one overall wide receiver. Uh Stafford's in town. I do feel like Woods had that injury. He was doing well before he was gone. So I I and there, yeah, and Henderson has been doing good. I don't know what would change necessarily, but I have seen cup go from that guy back down so it does put some doubt in my head he would be he was one of those guys in the you know the handful that i was talking about Mm -hmm. um so he'd be very very close in that position uh i would be fine putting him right there and then the two guys i talked about would probably be the next two for me i think i'd go jamar chase three actually i think my personal i'd throw like jamar chase cooper cup tyree kill 
Yeah, I have no, I have no issue with that. I think Jamar Chase is the real deal. I think he is uh, I think too. That and he's going to keep be growing. Just better. Tyreek Hill, even though he's still, I mean, he's still going to be in our our top ten. He's what number six right now? Number five. Um, be five. Yeah. Dude, okay, he's number five. What? Uh, because he was in a lot of people's like number one. Um, is it the up and down mm-hmm. nature of his of his play? Yeah, that's what it is say, for me. Even, even though he's right now he's uh sixth overall. Yep. Um, and they have definitely like Chiefs have been fluctuating quite a bit yep. with how their offense is going, but we knew this was his bag, right? It's like yep. you need enough of those high end performances in order to justify the bad ones. And I feel like this is the first year where I'm kind of like, it's right there on the borderline. Like, yeah, he does win me some weeks, but. I've been more disappointed than than happy of late. So he does take a, a hit in my book a little well, bit. And I mean, I, I should say Jamar Chase has had a little bit of that in him too. Um, sure, but he's but also a rookie. He's a, yes, exactly. <laughs> you expect that from a rookie and you expect him to grow from that. So yeah. that's where I feel comfortable there. All right, so I think it's a good top five. Devontae Adams, Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, Cooper Cup, Tyreek Hill. I feel pretty good about that. Mm-hmm. But number six, I think those top five, I think were pretty clear to me. Yeah, here Numbers. I can uh, I can make arguments for nearly everyone. I think this is probably uh, this is probably where I go. Um, I probably go digs here. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. It, it's still digs. Yeah, he he's again he's been he's had some up and down in him too, but it's still digs with a great quarterback, and we know what he can do. So I think digs at six is a good option. I, I think that's where I would go here for sure too. I feel pretty good about digs there. Yeah. I'm looking at the rest of the guys around here. I think I, yeah, definitely go digs here. Um, yeah, for sure. It's digs. It's digs all day. Mm-hmm. Number seven. So number seven, you could go again all over the place. Um, man, there's, there's so many options. I yeah, feel okay. like I'm leaning. Okay. The name I'll throw out there was going to be CD lamb. Okay. Yeah, actually that's exactly where my head is at. I, we're kind of picking they've had a little rougher years than you than we thought like they were really ranked up really really high and they're not bad they're outside the top 10 you know not the end of the world um you could probably make a a couple arguments against them um that would be legitimate but i think that the talent level at that point you have to keep them up there um which i'm at this point i'm also going to throw in one more name I, i like cd lamb there but right after that i i think dk has to be in the the discussion it's been it's been interesting but i think we still have enough talent where we just like oh, okay this year something's odd is it the finger right now with russ russ went down then the finger before that dk was getting a lot of touchdowns right he, yeah. he was getting touchdowns i would as of right now i think yeah i think you still slot dk metcalf in the in the, your top 10 and you know he might even go further down and you actually get some value for dk yeah. metcalf next year but if you look at it, he he's only like the past five games have been incredibly lackluster. Before that, he was doing unbelievable. And the last five games, he hasn't caught a touchdown. And it just happens to coincide with the bye week and and then Russell Wilson getting hurt, which I really do think is is the biggest deal. So I'm gonna I'm kind of giving him a pass because his first half of the year was so good that I I have to believe that is for real. And we we saw it the year before too. So. I, I like DK there. I, I still think he's a value there. I think he could easily be a top three wide receiver if he puts it all together and Russell Wilson stays healthy. So we got two more spots here to round at our top 10. Ooh, there's okay here. This is, I have to ask the question because he probably wouldn't be, he's number two right now and he probably wouldn't be in my top 10, but Debo, I have a very hard time putting him in the top 10. I, not that I don't believe that he couldn't be good, but he's done it in a multitude of ways, right? Not only like running the ball, he's had really freak games where he has these big catches and, and kind of broken tackling runs. I, I don't know. Are you, are you higher on him than I am? Do you really, I mean, I don't know. Where do we go with this? Do you believe in him or not? It's hard. Okay. I don't a hundred percent trust it at all. I just don't know who else we rank ahead of him when you really get down to it and look at the, look at the people around. So we got, who are, who would be the other options at this point? AJ Brown, Chris Godwin, mm-hmm. um, Deontay Johnson, maybe. Deontay Johnson's a good one. Johnny, if you listen to the last podcast, Jalen Waddle. Yeah. Waddle. I'm not going to put Waddle that <laughs> I'm not going to put him in the top 10, but I mean, 
Um, there, there's a bunch of young guys that are on their way up, but I wouldn't put them in the top 10 yet. Um, is there anyone, uh, I just don't want to forget, is there anyone that is hurt that I'm completely forgetting about? I mean, <sighs> Calvin Ridley's not hurt, but, you know. Yeah, I can't, I can't put him yeah, in my top 10. We can't rank him but, up there. Yeah. Um, but, the other guys like that, let's say, okay, so if I bring up some guys that were last year's, or coming into this year up there like a DeAndre Hopkins. I think DeAndre Hopkins, I wouldn't trust him. He seems I wouldn't either. This Same could be the, the this could be the downfall. Same thing with Allen Robinson. Like there's no yeah, way no, I would, I would ever Mike Evans, Mike Evans is gonna end up about the same. We always do like 11, 12, right? It's gonna yeah. be there. Terry McLaurin hasn't shown enough to get up there right now. No, he hasn't. Um Marquise, DJ Marquise DJ Moore, Brown. Brown. They're the, really they're the other guys. He did the same thing that DK did the last five weeks or so. He has been very lackluster. So I, you're, I mean, you make a really good point. I don't think there's a, would you put in that? I think space. it's. A, I think. I think honestly, ooh, is it AJ Brown and Debo? AJ Brown and Deontay? AJ Brown, say, Chris Godwin, Chris Godwin, Debo. Yeah. Like, it's like those. Those are the ones that's going to be around. I, I think, assuming Tom Brady is back, I think that Chris Godwin would be. I think he's got to be the one I'm putting in my top ten. Mike think, Evans. No one, I, I kind of crapped on him early on in the year. And because of everything that went on with Antonio Brown, Mike Evans played the same role and he's caught a lot of touchdowns again. You could make that argument for any one of these guys, to be quite honest. I guess if it was me, if it was you and you're picking at number nine, those guys are left. Who are you actually picking in your hearts of heart? I feel like Godwin's safe. I, I think Godwin's probably pretty safe. That's, I think I'd go. Here's this is what I think I'd rank it. I think I'd throw Chris Godman at nine. I think I put AJ Brown at 10. I'd probably go Deontay Johnson at 11, except I don't know his quarterback situation. That's an interesting, uh, yeah, part. that's a big one. And then I'd probably put Debo the at 12. Thing. I'll go to 12, I'll go to a top 12 and put Debo at 12. I would, I feel bad for doing that to Debo, but I agree with you. Oh, it's such a weird one, too, because Kittle is really coming around. Mm-hmm. Um, and if, there's if not he, many catches going for Debo. It's like, no, how can this not. sustain itself? I want to, I'll rank it this way now, but I'm going to be real skeptical. No, I, I will too. I mean, I'm skeptical now yeah. <laughs> and he's doing it. He's making it work and he's the number two wide receiver overall. Yep. Um, but yeah, I think I'm, well, I think I'm with you. I don't think he would make my top 10. I yeah. just don't see how, uh, how they would use him in the same way next year. Yep. There's going to be some interesting names after that, that could do something next year. Like you said, Marquise Brown could get up there. Michael Pittman could make another jump. You know, Elijah Moore could make a jump. Mm-hmm. He was doing well. There's a lot of Devante Smith, you know, like Waddle, all these guys, yeah. there's a lot of potential uh, that could jump you, next year. Yeah, And you still have, you still have like a Deandre Hopkins. You still have yeah. um, Thielen. You still have Keenan Allen, which probably should have been mentioned before those guys. You have an Elijah Moore. Uh, did you mention him? Yeah. Okay. Elijah yep. Moore, which is a, a very, very interesting yep. one on his way up. Um, and who am I else, else am I missing? I feel like there's a, another guy. That Tyler really Lockett. Like he's up there, but we don't, we don't really and, talk about Tyler Lockett. And, <laughs> and honestly, reason. a very an interesting one is uh, we'll, we'll find out what happens with the Rams down the stretch. But Odell might actually back, not that he's going to be anywhere near the top 10, but he might be uh, worthy of that pick. But Woods will be back too. Yep. So, and he hasn't had a great year. So, It'll be there'll be a really interesting. Yep. All right. So this, I think, what our final ends up being a top twelve. Our running backs ended up being a top eleven. But I would go Adams, Jefferson, Chase, Cup, Tyreek Hill, Stephon Diggs, Ceedee Lamb, DK Metcalf, Chris Godwin, AJ Brown, Deontay Johnson, Debo Samuel. Right now. So there we go. I like that. Yeah. There we go. Top twelve wide receivers for twenty twenty two. Next week we'll probably talk. No, well, maybe we'll talk quarterbacks next week. Do some quarterback ranks. That's actually real interesting too. I don't even know off the top of your head who would be your number one next year. I don't know. Mahomes, Allen, Lamar, Kyler. (laughs) Yeah, that's a hard one. Uh, Probably Allen. Could be. Kind of kind of crazy to say. I mean, I'd I say Allen, but then I would just wait for like Brady if they discount a good 45-year-old Brady. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll talk, we'll talk that out next week. The homes will be up there too. (laughs) It's it's tough to say. All right. That'll do it for today. Talk to you guys next time.